A heated trial ongoing in an Hidalgo County courtroom. Former Mission Mayor Beto Salinas suing Mission Mayor-elect Dr. Armando Ocaña over their June runoff race results. Our Mike Jimenez following this case and brings us the latest details. Mike? Well, good evening, Brenda. I am here in Edinburgh in front of the Hidalgo County Courthouse where former Mission Mayor Beto Salinas is continuing to make his case that his opponent in their June mayor runoff race, Dr. Armando Ocaña, used cash and questionable tactics in order to win that race. Now, at today's proceedings, the Salinas team continue to call subpoena witnesses to the stand to testify about their ballots. The Salinas team is attempting to show that some of the ballots in this election were illegally harvested. During testimony at today's trial, questioning of witnesses continue to be contentious as both attorneys push to make their cases. Your Honor, she did not testify that way, Your Honor, and I'd like to make a bill of exceptions because she's an elderly lady. So ask her. Let me respond, please. You do it all the time. Give me an opportunity to do it. We spoke with both attorneys today about their thoughts on the trial. I want this thing to be finished. I mean, they either have a case or they don't, and it's um, more and more appearing like they don't have a case, and they're just scrambling. I mean, in the last day and a half, they have called somewhere around six witnesses, and five of them testified that they voted for Beto Salinas. So I don't, <laughs> I don't understand that at all, to be honest with you. I think it's just an effort on behalf of Mr. Nojosa and his client to hide the truth from the voters that are out there, the fact that they actually engage in voter fraud. And the shenanigans that are going on in here is something that I anticipated. But I'm not going to quit. I'm not going to stop. We're going to continue to press forward, and we're going to be successful. Now, the judge in this case has given the Salinas team until the end of the week to wrap up their questioning of subpoena witnesses, to which there are a list of more than 50 potential witnesses. Reporting here in Edinburgh, I'm Mike Jimenez for KVEO News Center 23.